Hi everyone and thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, we are finally going to be reviewing the Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brighten Correcting Foundation. We're gonna do a full day wear test with a few check-ins and then I will give you my final thoughts. Back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm Michelle. I post videos every Friday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I enjoy makeup, skincare, and lifestyle. If you enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, and I would love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. If you're not familiar with Laura Geller, she is originally born and raised in New York. She was a theatrical makeup artist and now she has her own makeup line geared towards mature skin and aging skin. What I like too is that the models that she uses in her advertising are middle-aged women. So it's nice to see women with not perfect skin, wrinkles. It's just fantastic. What I purchased is the Baked Balance and Brighten Color Correcting Foundation. It's one of her top selling foundations. I have this in color medium. This this is a 0.32 ounce and it retails for $36. It says that it is a demi matte natural finish, weightless self adjusting coverage infused with hydrating antioxidants. It is for mature skin, uneven skin, fine lines and wrinkles. It is never cakey, creamy texture, weightless feel. They do recommend that you apply this with a brush. It says for a lighter coverage to use more of a fluffy brush. And if you want a medium coverage to use more of a dense brush, something like a kabuki brush. This is what it looks like. It has that really pretty marbling. You can tell that I've been using this a lot. The dome that was in the center, which is usually pretty high, is completely gone. I'm just gonna use a Sigma F87. This is kind of just an angled brush, which I like because you can kind of get into certain areas a little bit better. Let me just put my hair back. So let's get started applying this. I did review her cream foundation. It was a complete disaster. I'll link that video down below for you if you were interested in seeing that. All I'm doing is taking the Kabuki brush and I'm just getting in there and then I'm just pushing it into my skin. I did already go ahead and do my brows before the video. I'm not very good at them and it takes me a while. I do have on my skincare and I have on some sunscreen. For reference, my skin is combination oily. I do have a few dry patches. I'm gonna go down my neck a little bit just to even everything out. It definitely doesn't have a full coverage. I'm just gonna bring you in close. I have a little red mark on my nose. It didn't cover that. This is all that I do to apply it. It's so quick and easy. If you're just looking for, you know, just an easy makeup when you want to get out the door if you're late for work or anytime you just don't want to take a ton of time doing your makeup, it doesn't always have to be a huge long process to do your makeup. You can just put this on, throw on some blush, mascara, and a gloss and be out the door. I am layering this and layering this. It does not look cakey at all. I was really, really surprised with this foundation. I thought it was going to be a nightmare being a powder. It is very weightless. You don't feel like you're caked like some powder foundations when you put them on. You just feel like you're caked in a powder. And this one doesn't have that feel at all. For me to keep applying a powder on top of a powder on my face says a lot. I'll go right up into my hairline. It's definitely not a flat matte. It kind of gives you that little bit of radiance, which I really like. It looks more like skin. It looks healthy. I did not use a primer and I'm not going to powder it. I'm just getting in there. I'm trying to get you close up. I mean, I'm just piling this on. I still think it looks really good. So this is what it looks like. Super quick and easy. It's not settling into wrinkles and pores. I know when I uploaded my last video for the cream foundation, I said that I was gonna go ahead and try this. I did get quite a few messages from you guys. Some people loved it, and then other people said it was a complete nightmare on their skin and settled into every wrinkle. I really wasn't expecting much from this. I thought this was going to just be another complete flop, especially being a powder. This has a really interesting light texture to it. It's different than other powder foundations that I've ever used. It's just so lightweight and it does give you that beautiful glow versus kind of the matte finish that a lot of powders tend to have. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I'm back. I decided to go with a fall vibe here with my makeup. I'm just gonna zoom you in so that we can take a look. I think it looks really, really pretty. All of the products that are on my face, I will link down below for you in the description box. It's not settling into any of my wrinkles. And I really put a lot of this on. You, you saw me just go in there and keep applying it and applying it. 
I don't think my face looks cakey at all. It has just a really nice, pretty, radiant look to it. The coverage, I'm really happy with the coverage. I prefer more of a light to medium coverage. You know, we have skin. I don't mind seeing my skin through the makeup. I just basically look for just something to kind of even out my skin tone. So the color correcting in this foundation works really well for that. And plus I find as you get older and your skin matures, that wearing a full coverage or even a heavier type of foundation can sometimes look drying and accentuate your wrinkles. That's just my personal preference. So I'm really liking how this looks, but we'll take a close up. I didn't apply a primer. I did not powder it. I did use a super affordable setting spray. So I'm gonna leave it like it is now. I'm not gonna touch it, do anything to it. And we're gonna check in in about four hours. Hey guys, so I'm back. It's been about five hours. I'm gonna start by inserting some pictures that I took in front of a window. We're losing daylight really quick this time of year. So let's just take a look at that. And now let's take a look in the light. I'm gonna scoot you in pretty close, probably closer than you want to be. So far, I'm really enjoying this a lot. It's not doing anything naughty. It's not sliding around. It's not breaking up. It didn't settle into wrinkles. I don't think it accentuated pores. Am I a little more radiant than I was earlier? Probably a little bit. It's not oily or greasy looking. And there's a big difference between glowy and radiant and looking, you know, kind of greasy. I just think it looks really healthy. I think it looks like skin and it's natural. Now I ate lunch, I wiped my mouth, I blew my nose, I was doing some editing, so I was wearing glasses. It just looks so pretty. It didn't wear away. My makeup is still all in place. I'm just gonna take my mirror to look up close. This was also a test for me to put it on when the seasons have changed and it's a little bit drier. This looks so pretty. I just have a ring light in front of me and I really dimmed those just to give you a better look. I definitely have dents on my nose for my eyeglasses. Other than that, I think this looks fantastic. We're gonna go another four hours and check in and then I will give you my final thoughts. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so I am back. It has been another four hours. So I think in total, it's been about nine hours. Let's take a look at how this is wearing. I definitely have a little more shine, which is not out of the ordinary for me. I still think that the foundation is in place. It has not moved around. I do think, you know, my blush is starting to wear off in here. I don't think that has anything to do with the foundation. I think that just has to do with my skin becoming a tiny bit oily. It's worn off on the end of my nose. I can see that and around my mouth, but I was blowing my nose. I did eat dinner. I also was drinking from my water bottle and dripped the water down my face. I just kind of dabbed my face a little bit. I'm really happy that it didn't settle into my wrinkles. Normally with powder foundations, I will have settling, you know, in the creases of my nose and definitely around my mouth where I have the most wrinkles. I actually wore it for a big portion of the summer when my face was really oily and through the heat and humidity and it wore really well. The nice thing is that because it's in a compact, you could carry it around with you and touch up if you needed to. As a matter of fact, right now, I'm just gonna give you one more close up, and then I'm gonna touch this up and just see what it looks like. If it's gonna look cakey on top of already having it on with some oil breakthrough, but let's just take another close up. I'm gonna go ahead and just take my kabuki brush. Now I'm not using a blotting paper or a tissue to try to get any of the oil off that is on my face. I still don't think that I look greasy. It's just radiant. I definitely have some oil breaking through, but like I said earlier, it's skin. I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna go ahead and just put this on again. Now sometimes when you have a foundation on and you get oil breakthrough, if you don't absorb that oil with a blotting cloth and then you go to put on more foundation, it could really be a disaster. But let's just see what this is gonna do. During the summer, I never touched up actually because I was out and about. I didn't even give it a thought just to carry this around with you if you wanted to. 
Too bad this didn't have a sunscreen in it, just for a little extra added sunscreen. You should never count on your foundation for your sunscreen. That would be bad. Okay, let's see. Well, it did take down some of the shine. I don't think that was bad at all. I don't think it's doing anything weird. I'm just gonna take my mirror. I still think it looks really, really good. It's starting to look a little heavy right in my brows where I put it. I definitely put a little too much. I can always just wipe that off. Overall, I still think that it looks pretty good. I look shinier in this monitor than I do in person, so I don't know if it's my lighting or not. To me, it just looks glowy and pretty. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you what this looked like in my bathroom lighting versus my studio lighting. My final thoughts on this are I enjoy this tremendously. I've never had a powder foundation that I've enjoyed as much as this. That's so easy to use. Really, really surprised me. Who I think it would be recommended for. I think if you're really dry, you may not like it, but if you still wanna give it a try, just make sure that your skin is really hydrated before you go ahead and put this on. If you are gonna use a primer, use a really hydrating primer. If you have oily or oily combination skin, I think you're really gonna enjoy this. And if your skin's really oily, you may just wanna powder your T-zone like you normally would probably with any foundation or use a setting spray. I don't mind a little bit of oil breakthrough. It is skin, we have pores, and that doesn't bother me. So I'm really enjoying it. I think if you want to give this a try, wait for a sale. She has some phenomenal sales. I think I got this for 60% off, which was ridiculous. And she's always running some type of sale. So you don't have to pay a fortune to get this. But this is fantastic to touch up with. It has a nice compact. You can just bring a little brush with you and touch up during the day. I think it looks great considering I just touched up. It kind of just refreshed the whole look. So I'm so glad I didn't give up on Laura Geller after that last foundation flop because this is unbelievable and I would have really thought that a cream foundation would have worked on my skin more so than a powder. So guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this and found it helpful. I just want to say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch. I appreciate it so much. Have a great weekend and I will see you in my next video.